This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Wendy Williams was giving Nicki Minaj her props. And even though previously she hasn't had the nicest things to say about Nicki, now she is turning it around. And here's what she said on her show about Nick. But Nicki, to me, is definitely an icon and definitely a legend. She's done things that these young girls haven't even touched. Even though they have on, they have hit music. But Nicki is, is different than the rest. I mean, Nicki is a great example of why going away sometimes is the best thing for you. You know, you make people miss you and appreciate you more in your absence. I mean, Wendy didn't tell a lie, but I don't think that was ever up for debate, was it? Regardless no. of how anyone feels about Nicki personally, you can't deny what she's done for the coach. She's absolutely an icon. Right? Yes, she is. Yeah. All right, Nicki Minaj responded, you are an icon and legend as well at Wendy's show. Huh. <laughs> Who's that? Oh. Drama. Drama. All right. What? And congratulations to Ariana Grande and serious. Dalton Gomez. They have gotten married in an intimate ceremony at their home over the weekend. And according to Ariana Grande's rep, they confirmed to People Magazine they got married. It was tiny and intimate, less than 20 people. The room was so happy and full of love. The couple and both families couldn't be happier. Who's the boyfriend? What's his name? Well, who's the husband now? His name is Dal Dalton Gomez. He's a, he's a realtor. He's a buyer's agent for a luxury real estate company called Aaron Kirkman Group. Yeah, he sounds okay. like he's a member of the Adams family. Last name Gomez. Congratulations, though. All right. Well, yes. Congratulations to the two of them. All right. And Kim Kardashian bought Janet Jackson's custom outfit from her If music video. Mm. She paid $25,000 for it. And she went on her Instagram <laughs> stories to wish Janet Jackson a happy birthday. And she revealed that she did win that auction to get that 1993 outfit from the If music video. She said, for Janet Jackson's birthday, because I'm such a fan, I can't believe I won this on Julian's auctions. Yeah, I was just debating with Dramos in here because he was saying that Rihanna would watch Janet Jackson in the verses no. and was no, saying no. that nobody cares about Janet no. Jackson. Janet what? Jackson music is dated. I literally oh, just told him, I said, do you know God. people still dress as Janet for Halloween? And then here go ye reporting this story. Kim Kardashian buying one of Janet's old outfits. Uh. You're talking about an icon. Drama, you're sure a liar, hater. and you've oh always he's, been a liar. He's, he's not a liar. He's just you're young. a damn liar. You're making you're things a up. Hater, drama. That wasn't even the conversation. It was comparison. It was her verses that was respect Janet the icons and legends, drama. Do y'all mind if I finish? Because yeah. I want to let you guys know Thank the you. reason Janet is auctioning off these personal belongings is she is raising money for charity. So a percentage of that money goes to Compassion International. It's an organization that helps the overall development of children living in poverty worldwide. So okay. she's been auctioning off a lot of different things. Now, since y'all brought up Rihanna, mm. Rihanna is reportedly getting ready to put out her ninth album, and she's been lining up her video shoot in L.A. She's teaming up with British director Raja Ver Verdi to film that video for her next album. That's her first in more than five years. They said she's been secretly working on new music for a long time, and this album has finally come together, according to The Sun. I want a big rollout. I want a massive rollout for Rihanna. I really appreciate J. Cole's rollout. I don't want no surprise album. I want a nice two week huge rollout for Rihanna. Riri. Don't need it though. They've been waiting for, for she Rihanna. She don't need music it, but so she deserves long. it. She could just drop Friday and it, it'll go crazy. She don't need it, but she deserves it. I don't like us acting like uh, music is disposable. Like, let's have the big rollout. Let's have some anticipation. All right, and Snoop Dogg, his daughter, Corey Brodus, has revealed that she tried to take her own life as she is spreading awareness about mental health. Here's what she had to say via Instagram. You're fat, you're ugly, you're dark, you're this, you're that. And I used to cry, like, I mean cry, like, at 13, I was ready to die. Just so mm. sad, crying to my mom, like, mom, like, I'm so ugly. Like, why did you have me? Why do I look mm. like this? Why don't I look like my brothers? Why? It was just so many why, 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 why? So just because you have money and just because you're able to do certain things that people can't do, it doesn't mean you don't have a heart, you don't have a mind, you don't have a soul. Like, I go through it just like everybody else. That's heartbreaking, Dang. man. That's that, that's why you have to get damn, social, damn, damn. emotional learning and mental health literacy in grade schools. Kids need therapists early. They need people to talk to. I would hate to grow up in this era where everything is on social media. You got to go through puberty. You got to go through all mm -hmm. your awkward phases via social media. Any mistake you make becomes your whole identity because of social media. You ever stop to think we laugh at memes of funny looking people or videos of, of, of kids doing dumb stuff, but those are actual people who have to live with that? and the impact that probably has on their mental health. 
And as a parent, what do you do? Do you say, no, you can't get on social media? Like, I know a lot of people allow their kids on social media at certain ages. I didn't allow my kids on social media to 16, but, you know, it's, what do you do? Because they're exposed to all of this, you know? And we were never exposed. Like, the pimple, like, I had pimples. I had, you know, buck teeth. I had four, I've been called everything from four eyes to metal mouth to everything. But I couldn't imagine that being times 100 on social media. Yeah, man. All right, and Taraji has launched a campaign to help black students fight mental health struggles and racism. And so it's called the Unspoken Curriculum. It's a six-week program that's designed to help black children identify racial bias at school and speak openly about mental health. Yeah, salute to Taraji and Tracy. They're doing great work at the Boys Lawrence Henson Foundation. Drop on the clues bombs for Taraji P. Henson and Tracy Jade. They are truly helping to eradicate the stigma around mental health with their foundation and all their work. So salute to them. That program runs from May 17th until June 21st. And that will include discussions with mental health experts, virtual hangout spaces moderated by therapists and educators where students can speak openly about mental health and their experiences in school. All right. And that is your rumor report. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Charlemagne, who are you giving that donkey Listen, to? Listen, I promise I do not wake up and I say, you know what, Florida, come to the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with you. But these Florida stories just be too good to be true. I just can't avoid them. So there's a guy named Anthony Woody. OK, emphasis on the Woody who needs to come to the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with him. All right. We'll get back to the donkey today. Next is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. 